Hey there, how you doing? This is uh, more on our little series of stuff you may never have seen before. And today we have something really special, and it's a Goodfellow bass guitar. Um, now, Goodfellow is, uh, was a brand of a gentleman named Bernie Goodfellow, and I believe he sold the, the designs and the rights to the company to a company called Loudon in Northern Ireland who make uh, high-end bespoke acoustic guitars. And they produced a few of these, I think something like 300. Uh, and then they ceased production. I think they sold off the, the name and the designs to a Japanese company who just put it on the shelf as far as I know. Um, I know that um, Bernie Goodfellow now owns GB Guitars and you ought to check them out because they're like pretty awesome basses. Uh, this one here is sort of a bit of a prototype. It kind of uh, has these funny plastic covers on it and it's well built. Uh, it's a bolt-on neck. It's uh, very nicely bolted on with these recessed uh, Allen key screws. It's a mahogany back and it's got a quilted maple top, which I think you'll agree it looks amazing. It's really, really beautiful. It's wax and oil finished body. Um, the neck is finished with, um, I think, lacquer. Uh, it's, it's very comfortable. It's an ebony fingerboard, um, a two plus two headstock, which is, gives it a nice balance. And this particular one here has the EMG electronics. It's a 18 volt circuit, two EMG humbuckers, uh, bass, mids with sweepable frequency, treble and uh, balance, and volume. So the... The overall sound of the bass it's, is, if I leave everything flat, is is quite nice it's quite thick and got a lot of highs in it too which of course you can cut out now this treble control is, uh, has got a few options there's some switches in the back on the preamp you can change the frequency so you can this is set quite high you can lower it to 3k which gives you a more normal type uh, control of the treble or 5k i think this is somewhere up around eight so there's bass boost and cut which goes a long way the mids does a lot of work if i if i boost them and sweep through the frequency you can you can hear the range it's about the high end there low end there so if I boost the go to the uh, neck pickup it's got a nice sort of buttery sound if I balance between let's just we'll go back to the, the bridge pickup it's got a lot of bite uh, too much mids there. And somewhere in the middle, if we adjust our bass treble and give it a bit of a mid cut. So, 
Um, yeah, an incredibly uh, well-made instrument. Uh, again, you can still pick these up secondhand, but it also pays you to check out GB guitars because uh, the new model uh, is obviously uh, updated electronics. The design is a little different, a little more modern. I quite like the shape of this. This is kind of a, a really cool looking uh, shape. It's not too big. It's got a very narrow waist here. It's very comfortable. It's fairly light. Um, you know, it's a well-made base. I like that it has two strap pins. So when you rest it on the floor, it actually sits on the two strap pins. Uh, but you should be putting them on the stand anyway. But we'll talk about that later. Um, yeah, a beautiful base. Once in a while, it needs a bit of uh, oil and wax on it. Uh, just to keep it clean and looking good. And, and that's about it. It's, um, it's brilliant. I've, uh, I've owned it for a long, long time. And it's... Uh, one of the bases I'm really, really fond of. So I hope you found this interesting. Let me know what you think, or if you've got one, and I know a lot of people out there, a lot of you have one of these, or one of the earlier ones. Uh, let me know if you're still using it and, uh, and what it sounds like. Talk soon, take care, keep making music, be well. Thanks for watching.